Okay, in this video, I want to start talking about vector spaces, and all I'm going to do in this one is actually run through the definition real quick because, hey, that's where we got to start. And then at the end, I'm going to have three different sets, and in some other videos, we'll decide whether or not those are vector spaces or not. So here's the definition, and again, I'm not going to say I, I, I will sometimes and I won't sometimes, so just know that letters at the beginning of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, those are going to refer to scalars. Letters at the tail end of the alphabet, you know, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, those are in general going to refer to vectors. Okay, so here's the definition. Let capital B be a set on which two operations called addition and scalar multiplication have been defined. These need not be, you know, the same familiar and addition and multiplication uh, that we're used to. So that's uh, worth pointing out. And you'll see that in one of my examples. Okay, so if u and v, little u, vectors u and v are in capital V, the sum of the vectors u and v is denoted by, well, u plus v. And if c is a scalar, the scalar multiple of u by c is denoted as c times u. And if the following axioms hold for all u, v, and w in the big set v, and for all scalars c and d, then capital V is what's known as a vector space, and its elements are called vectors. So let's run through the, the, uh, the axioms real quick. So it says if we take little u and add uh, little v, that's going to be in our big set v. So this is closure under addition. So vector u plus vector v is in v. Um, likewise, vector u plus vector v, we can reverse that. That's going to be the same thing as vector v plus vector u. That's commutivity. If we take the quantity u plus v and then add w, that's going to be the same thing as if we take u plus the quantity v plus w. So that's associativity. And there's going to exist an element... Um, it's called a zero vector, so that if we take vector u plus that zero vector, we just get that vector u back. And for each uh, vector u and v, there's an element called negative u in v, so that when we add those two elements together, those two vectors together, we get the zero vector. C multiplied by u is also in v. This is closure under scalar multiplication. We have C multiplied by the quantity U plus V. That's going to give us C multiplied by U plus C multiplied by V. Um, we've got C plus D multiplied by U. That equals C multiplied by U plus D multiplied by U. If we take C and multiply that by uh, the quantity D multiplied by U, we get the same thing as if we first multiply C and D and then multiply by U. Lastly, if we take 1 and multiply that by U, we get the, uh, the vector U back. So those are the axioms. So here's the three questions that I'm going to address. And I encourage you to try these first. Decide whether or not you think these are vector spaces or not. If you're really stuck, you know, maybe watch the first one and see how I go about you know, the process. And then try number two and three on your own. So, um, so we're going to determine e whether each of these sets is a vector space or not. So number one, we've got the set of all vectors in R2 of the form xx with the usual vector addition and scalar multiplication. Number two, we've got the set of all vectors xy and r2, so that if we take x times y, that's going to be greater than or equal to zero. And again, with the usual vector addition and scalar multiplication. So three, this is kind of one of those where we can, again, we can define addition and multiplication however we want. So the set of all positive real numbers with addition, and a lot of times they'll put a little circle on it, just to even emphasize that, hey, you're not doing the same normal addition that, you, that, you, that you're that you used to. So that's that's the point of putting the circle. We could just use the symbol plus. But um, again, this is to just keep you know reminding you, hey, you're not doing normal addition. So in this case, addition, if we take x plus y, that, that addition is going to be defined as x times y. And the scalar multiplication, again, we've got our little multiplication with a circle in it, that's going to be defined by c multiplied by x. That gives us x raised to the power of c. So again, take a look at those. I'm going to run through each one of these, and I'll, I'll either prove or disprove whether or not those are vector spaces.